is an update on Ethereum. This is the uh, daily chart each kind of representing a day here. And I have mentioned in my previous video as an objective entry, yet a but aggressive short trade entry off this primary downtrend line off the April highs here. And we hit it to the bullseye. Buyers ended up selling right at that pinpoint. Right there, you could tell. Uh, really off based off this uh, three black crow pattern that we had found in that previous video. And that was good for an 8.46% drop there. And uh, again, I truly believe that uh, we're still in that inflection point, but I believe a, a takeout of these previous lows off that 2769.91 ought to do the trick uh, as far as uh, taking out some more stops there. And uh, take, take us down to that uh, 2649.16 level that I still favor for a potential bounce. And uh, we'll see if we get that. And uh, maybe a move down here and maybe a little bit more consolidation. There's not a, this would be a huge objective entry long trade. We got a MACD, both oscillator and the MACD sinking below zero lines. Huge steep negative divergence now. Here on the four hour time frame, each candle represents a four hour. We had knocked, and I previously mentioned in my previous video that 30, 34, 75 price resistance off that key 50% retracement fibs level. And look at we hit it to the bullseye there. And it got rejected as an objective entry short trade. So what's funny is we do have that divergent low still intact, uh, really on the skin of its teeth. But the near term uh, negative uh, divergences uh, look pretty bad here, uh, especially with the crossover already on the MACD and oscillator. They need to come up and whipsaw back above right now, right here. And a break below that 27.50, 112 ought to take us down to that uh, 23, uh, 236 fibs retracement level right there. Key level at that 25, uh, call it a 2578.98. Uh, yeah, 25.78 level. And if we break below that 25.78 level, I believe it'll start to look like a waterfall sell off. But Ethereum and the crypto market actually held up relatively, uh, I would say decent compared to the uh, stock market. So. We'll see how it plays out, and if anything new comes out, I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated.